Hey y'all, this is Ralph Van Lily back for another video. Rails have started to act. We got a train coming. And most likely, it'll be our dear Amtrak coming this morning. After all, it took forever for her to get here. Like, unbelievably forever. We'll see her come around that corner right about there. Let's watch and see what happens. Up, oh, look at the signals. Signal is yellow over red. Approach. So we got a train coming. Here we go. But I am dumbstruck. She should have been here about 20 minutes ago. But there's the hissing. She's coming. You hear it? Yeah, about 30, actually, yeah. I'm here again with my rail fanning partner. Oh, yeah, she's here. Rails are way too wild for her to not be. There she is. What? I'm sorry, what? I've been messed with again. The simple... I know. I am dumbstruck. How can a train that small make that much noise? Like, how is that even physically possible? This locomotive is a Canadian Pacific. And by the looks of it, it is an SD30C Eco DRF 38 AA number 5048. Not to mention our other partner coming in. She is a single grain train coming, going southbound. But I'm sorry, where is Amtrak? Seriously, we should be seeing her by now. Like, what? There's absolutely no freaking way that train made that much noise. And now it's a high green down there. High green, way down at the end. So we should be seeing Amtrak popping up. Question is, where is she? Makes no freaking sense. She has a clear track so she could come in whenever. While this train comes to a stop, I'm still wondering where the heck my train is, but I want to see. They're applying their brakes. Hey, we got Union Pacific.
So how can a train this freaking small make that much noise? And pull this type of load at that. I don't know. Antrax should have been here for a while. And should have already left by now. Well, I don't know where Amtrak is at this point. We've been waiting here for about an hour. Maybe even. And yet there's been no sign. We hear horns. Now we have her. That is different than those two. That is definitely a passenger train horn. Now we have Amtrak guys finally coming in after an hour of being here. We got Amtrak. All right, guys. I don't know why Amtrak is so freaking late, but she's here now. She'll be going a whopping 79 miles an hour. Looks like this train's starting to move. If you actually look at the wheel, the wheel bearings. I've never had a train this freaking late. But I definitely know she's on her way because I can hear that horn. And this train, like, how can this train make so much noise? I thought for sure it was Amtrak. Not only was it on the wrong track, but it was on the, it was the wrong type of train. And it was pulled by a single locomotive. This train is carrying a load of Union Pacific, BNSF, and Canadian Pacific cars. There it is! Woo! There is Amtrak! After being, whoa! I was right! I was right! I freaking called it! I freaking called there was a special unit interest. I freaking called it. I freaking called it. C tracks, think train number 203. Operation Lifesaver Unit. for this day's video folks we've had three trains in single day Amtrak being almost 100% late oh hello rail gone and a whole lot of lumber I still can't believe Amtrak's this freaking late but seeing that special unit was sure a treat it's always nice to see a single unit like that because I've only ever seen one other unit a special interest this is my second heritage unit I've ever caught on film I've seen plenty of special units but nothing as special as that holy cow ah loop there's a bug on my phone. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.